Hi, welcome to Diversity in the Community. I am your host, Teresa Harris. You know, um, so many people talk about Facebook and they say bad things about Facebook, but I think Facebook is a wonderful thing because if it wasn't for Facebook, I would not have connected with this young lady tonight. So I am so pleased to have her with me tonight. She's a, a very talented young woman. I met her uh, many years ago when we were auditioning for a, uh, a part in a play. And here it is years later, I happened to see her daughter on uh, Facebook and actually her daughter was my guest last time. And I am so pleased to have her with me tonight, Jaina. Yana. Allen, John. Oh, Lord, have mercy. I messed up already. Jana. <laughs> Jana Allen, I'm so pleased to have her with me tonight. And I want her to um, tell us a little bit about herself. All right. Well, thank you for the warm welcome, Teresa. It's such a pleasure. One to catch up with you, obviously, because uh, when we connected with the play, it was just like an instant connection between you, me, and my daughter. And I am so glad that we actually reconnected. It's, it's a pleasure. Absolutely pleasure. Thank you for having me on your show. Um, I, I just like, I'm, I'm overwhelmed a little bit, honestly. <laughs> Uh, and humbled by this experience. So to tell you a little bit about me, I'm Yana, 47 years old, a single um, single mom of one. My daughter's grown now. Um, I've lived a full, 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 full life um, doing a lot of things. And um, I want to say all those experiences that I've had in the past brought me to this moment right here where I feel like it has come full circle and I'm right exactly where I need to be. So it's going to be my pleasure to talk about this this evening. Wonderful. Because you, I mean, you kind of took the words out of my mouth and my, my question was going to be, um, I wanted to hear a little bit about your journey. Okay. So I, you know, I met you here in Connecticut and then um, you moved away. So can you tell me a little bit about your journey uh, between the time when you you when I met you and then you left and, and and all of that stuff. Okay, sure. So um, we, me and Teresa actually met on a stage with fellow thespians. I love acting. Um, I've actually written a few plays, directed a couple plays, been in several plays. Like this is in my blood. But one thing that I've learned about myself and other creatives is that you're not just creative in one area. You like, if you're creative in this area, you're creative in that area, you're creative in this area. And it's really just a matter of what's speaking to you at that particular time and that's your area of focus. And that's kind of my journey because I've tried a little bit. <laughs> I've tried a little bit of everything. I promise y'all I have, okay? <laughs> and it's been a great experience because I found what I like, what I don't like and what really works for me. And so like I said, you know, we met on the stage in theater, but that was just one of my many, many loves. I've been what I like to call a serial entrepreneur. I've had numerous businesses that I absolutely have loved doing. Um, but right now, my current business, which I'll get into a little bit later, um, again, those led me to where I am right now. I have always been the type of person that wanted to be my own boss, be my own entrepreneur, be my own business owner. I never saw myself for like the rest of my life working for someone else and helping their vision come to pass. Meanwhile, my vision is dying. Um, I love having time freedom. I love being able to do what I want, when I want, how I want to do it. And so uh, that has been my journey. So um, when me and Teresa met, I lived in Springfield, Massachusetts. And at the time that I met Teresa, we're doing a play. Um, I was, I had a business, uh, event planning and uh, wedding decorating and design, which I absolutely love. And I don't even think Teresa knew about this one. Uh, <laughs> I love, again, here we go, creative, right? I love decorating and taking a blank canvas and making it beautiful, right? So I, I did a little, dabbled in that a little bit. I had my own business and then I moved to Houston um, for about five years and I love that experience. I just wanted to try something different, something new, something out of the box and it was a wonderful experience. So when I got down to Houston, Houston is extremely large. Like when they say everything is big in Texas, they mean that, okay? Everything is big in Texas. Like around the corner, <laughs> they'd be like, oh yeah, I just live around the corner. 
I'm driving like 30, 40 minutes. That's not around the corner to me. I'm like, yo, not from where I live in Springfield around the corner is literally around the corner. But okay, here we go. I won't get lost on that tangent. But yeah, everything is big in Texas. So I got down there and um, I did what I normally do because I, again, a serialpreneur. I had my businesses on the side, right? And then I had my full-time job that paid my bills. My businesses on the side, unfortunately, weren't enough to sustain my household at the time. So I had to work a full-time job. And so I am an executive admin by trade, over 20 plus years of doing this. So I worked for a Shell Corporation and I had a team of about 200 that I was supporting. And we were moving from our old building over to our new building. And I was the admin whenever there was a birthday or a baby on the way or a wedding, I'm decorating the office. <laughs> I mean, like, <laughs> if you can go over the top, yeah, I'm that girl. <laughs> so um, we were getting ready to move into our new building and I wanted to do something different for the team that I hadn't done for them before. And so I just got online, I did a Google search and I found um, these things called cupcake bouquets. And I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. So instead of me ordering a cupcake bouquet like normal people would do, I said, no, I'm gonna figure out how to make a cake mix from scratch. I'm not gonna do no box. I watched a gazillion YouTube videos on how to decorate cupcakes and make them look like flowers. So I spent hours, guys, I, I promise you, I spent hours of research and practicing lots of fails. And then I finally found the perfect flavor. And so then I brought my, my cupcakes bouquet that I brought in to the office and the team loved it. And I said, okay, let me try some other flavors and bring them in. So I brought those flavors in, they loved it. And then I said, you know what? I think I got a business, right? And so <laughs> here we go. I brought in a few more flavors, they loved it. I started my little business out of my home selling cupcakes. I was gonna be known as the cupcake diva. Keep in mind, serialpreneur, <laughs> all right? So now I'm making all these cupcakes and people are buying them. And then I said, you know what? I wanna try my hand at cakes. So it's kind of grown from there. So that was my venture in Texas. And then I came back home and I'm glad I came back home because all my immediate family is here. Um, I miss my nieces tremendously. My mom, who I'm extremely close with, was here. So it was very hard for me to be away from my family. Um, so I moved back home and I brought my cake business back with me. And I started, you know, selling cakes out of my home and building up my business. And again, because it's a side business and my current business, right, is not paying my full-time bills, I had to get a job, an executive admin, right, go figure. And so I was working that and doing my baking business with probably about three, maybe four hours of sleep <laughs> on any oh, given day. Cause I go work, I come home and bake till wee hours in the morning, go to bed, do it all over again, wow. right? <laughs> and so then from there, I got fired from my job because of COVID last year, April 1st. And then my real journey, I like to say began. Do you want me to keep going or I, I wanted to ask, I wanted to ask you, girl, I can listen to you all day. See, I like these kind of interviews. I can just sit back and say, go ahead, girl, go ahead. I wanted to ask you though, about your faith. Where, okay. what, how did your faith fit into this journey? How okay. important was it? Okay. What an excellent question. Um, honestly, I come from a line of faith. My grandmother was born and raised in a church all her life, my aunt born and raised in a church, my mother born and raised in a church. So quite naturally, I was born and raised in a church, but my experience with faith and just having a real true relationship with God didn't start until much, much later on. I was about 16 when I first gave my life to the Lord. Um, and then from there, I just started really getting into the word of God and understanding who I am and God, who God is to me, the promises and the precepts and the principles that belong to me and operating in them. And I'm just that type of woman who is just crazy enough for the lack of a better word to believe that whatever the Bible says I can have and I can do. So if y'all trying to tell me that it don't work, it's too late. I read in the book. <laughs> it works. <laughs> yes. All you do is read and stand on his principles. So honestly, the when when I say the epitome of faith, that's me. My daughter's name is Imani, and it means faith. 
So every time I call her, I'm calling faith to come forward. So this is just, again, right? A line of faith, grandmother, aunt, mother, me, my daughter. And I fully expect when she gets married and has children that her children will be the same or greater than, right? Because our children should be greater than us, right? So it's, it's in the fiber of who I am. Like, I can't see my life any other way besides believing that God has his thumbprint on my forehead. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. You know, I was an executive administrative person too. Uh, oh. And I just retired from being that. So congratulations. Yeah. yeah. So we had still, we had a little connection there too. Yes, we did. <laughs> oh, so you keep on going with your story. I know you, um, you made the decision to, to move back. Yes, uh, this way. And so how have things been since you moved back this way? So things um, with my baking business, a little, a little rocky, right? Because here I was, I was gone for a while. And when I was here originally, I wasn't baking anything. You know, I wasn't known as a baker, um, definitely known as a chef, my grandmother, professional chef, my aunt, a professional chef quite naturally. I love to cook and I'm very good at it. Um, but it, I, that wasn't something that I dabbled in while I was here. So it, it was about building trust with my community, you know, and, and giving out a lot of samples. I, and I ain't got no problem giving out samples because I know my stuff tastes good. And I know once you try it, you're going to be coming back for more. And that's just how it go. Because I'm not selling nothing that I don't enjoy eating. So everything that's on my menu, I enjoy it. <laughs> So I already know if I give you a sample, you'll be calling. <laughs> I'm just really confident about my food. That's all. Excuse me, y'all. <laughs> oh, I love it. I, I, I actually, I absolutely love it. Um, I Thank love you. your enthusiasm. I just, I just love. It. I can't wait to hear about the, uh, the rest of, uh, yes. you know, what has happened. Um, yes. So we, we talked a little on the phone about your new. Um, your new business. It sounds yeah. very exciting to me and I can't wait for you to share it because you were sharing it. Um, the thing you were saying is th this is a thing a lot of people are missing out on because they yes. have no clue how they can be blessed with this. So I really want to get into the, the meat of that. So take Absolutely. it away, girl. Take it away. Okay. All right. So like I said, I came back, I had my baking business and here I am. I'm working as an executive admin. I'm at a college, good paying job. Um, and I got fired because of COVID, no fault of my own. Um, and that was April 1st of last year, right? And so here I am, I'm, I'm out of a job. And I, I'm not, I've always been the type of person where if one door closes, God got another one that's about to open and it's going to bless my socks off. So I've never been like, oh my God, what am I going to do? I lost my job. I, I've just never been that woman. Um, and actually I was, actually kind of excited <laughs> I, 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 I ain't gonna lie I was excited I was like oh Jesus thank you thank you thank you Jesus <laughs> all, right. and all I'm thinking is like now I can really go full time you know ham with my baking business and this is I can focus on this and I'm gonna grow it to where it needs to be and blah 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 so I'm going through all that and just really enjoying this new space and um, one of my friends introduced me to what I like to call susus. Um, and that started like running rampant. And they always, from what I've, I'm learning is that susus kind of pop up when there's like a major shift with people's finances or like doors closing and it's affecting people globally. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a system that works when people work it, but when it doesn't work, it doesn't work anymore. And so I got involved with these susus and I made good money and then it stopped working and then I lost a lot of money. But as a result of me being involved with these susus, um, I was introduced to what I call Forex. And honestly, I would have never even been open to Forex had I not been in that position of being in Susu's and being exposed to just that type and mindset of thinking, because it does require a certain mindset to get involved with Susu's. And I don't want to really get too you know, deep into that because that's just a thing of the past, but I'm just letting you know my journey to how I got to Forex. So I'm baking out of my home. I've been involved with the Susu's. They are failing. Um, an opportunity got presented to me to learn Forex. And to be honest with you, um, I heard about Forex probably about maybe six, maybe seven months prior to 
my whole losing a job, Susu's, and now this opportunity is being presented to me. And um, I was like, nah, I'm not really interested in that. No, no, that's not for me. No, I'm not interested. No, 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 no. Now I'm at a position where, you know what? Okay, let me listen to what it is that you have to say. And what I've come to find out in my journey with Forex, and let me be completely honest with you, I absolutely love, 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 love everything about 4X. And I'm going to tell you why. So I got in this journey. Now, this is a system that the banks have been using since the dawn of time. What they do, you know how when you open up a bank account, check in your yeah. savings, mm -hmm. and you feel like, you know, they give you that little stack of paperwork and they say, read it and sign it. And most of us never, oh, ever, yeah. ever, ever read it. I'm, oh, I'm so guilty. I just opened up a check in, a new checking account probably about a month ago. And here we go. They gave me that stack of paperwork and I'm like, I'm not about, <laughs> I'm not about to read this. Right, I'm, right. I'm, just tell me where I need to sign. So we sign it. However, when we sign that, we're giving the banks permission to consolidate all of their accounts that they have, go to the Forex market, play in a Forex market with our money, make a boatload of money, and then they kick us back a 0.01% interest. Wow. But they're wow. making... They're making a lot of money. This is a $7.5 trillion a day industry. So imagine how much with all their accounts, when they're playing in the market, how much money they're making and they're only giving us 0.01%. <laughs> wow. it's, it's insane. Uh, you want me to keep going? I can keep going. Mm -hmm. yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, keep on going, girl. So yeah, so that experience kind of like opened up my eyes. Okay, so if the big banks are playing in the market with our money and they've been doing this since before we even knew forex was a thing there must be something to this so i got in and i started studying and practicing and learning it's a lot of numbers right you, you're going to learn how the market moves you're going to learn about candlesticks you're going to learn about wicks you're going to learn about pips and lot sizes because we teach you all of that so you understand how to win in the market um so i got in there and started learning that and i started making money but the kicker is right this is what got me you can take one single dime, 10 cents, and you can turn that into $10. And we teach you that. <laughs> wow. it, you know, when you sit here and you know, like when you really think about it, like how many times have you walked past a dime on the ground? I used to, I don't anymore, I promise you. Um, and that's $10. Like when you change your mindset, it's not just a dime. I'm literally going in on per trade, one dime per trade, and I'm making $10. And that's just to start. Like that's just the beginning, Teresa. Like you can make so much money in the Forex market if you put in the time to study and practice and study and practice. Honestly, there's so much money on the table. It's, it's like taking, honestly, it's like taking candy from a baby. It really is. It's not, it's not a hard concept. Not at all. Now, the, the, um, a lot of people that may not have um, good computer skills, minimal mm -hmm. computer skills, how would that, because I'm, I'm sure you got to really know how to, you know. Um, yes. Work this. Yeah. So how would that work as far as um, somebody, you know. That's a great question. Thank you for asking. Uh -huh. <laughs> So here we go. In this company that I'm a part of, we have people all the way from the ages of 18 all the way up to 96. And the beautiful thing about this is that you can learn at your pace. My pace may be faster or slower than the next person, and it doesn't even matter. It's about your journey and how you want to go on your journey. So you take your time and you learn at your pace. It's not, you know, it's not, oh, you got to get it and hurry and get it so you can make money. No, it, it's really not like that. You take your time. It's a lot of videos. You're going to watch videos. You're going to have homework. You're going to have action items. And you don't move forward from that video until you have it, right? And then once you got it down, you go to the next video. And then you get involved with study groups, right? You get involved with, you know, people who you trust and you guys can work together. Like, so anything, I promise you, anything that I get involved with, with my mom or anything that I get involved with, I'm always pulling my mom in on it. Like I, that's my ride and live chick. I promise you, she, <laughs> everywhere I go, everything I do, she is right there with me. Cause that's, I, I, oh my God, I have such a close relationship with her. So when I got involved with this company, 
and I told her about it, she was like, yes, sign me up. So, you know, here we go. I'm a little bit younger than my mom, right? So her learning curve is a little bit slower than mine's. And then there's people whose learning curve is a whole lot faster than mine, like these young, young people, you know, they pick stuff up like that, you know? <laughs> um, however, we've been working together and it's been a, a wonderful experience, Teresa, like, Monday through Friday, we're on this couch that you see me sitting on and we're putting in trades together and we're making money together. We're still in our PJ. She has her coffee. I have my tea, right? We got our phones. We're waiting for the signals. We put the signals in and then we wait for it to activate and then we wait for it to take TP. TP is take profit. So every time TP hits, me and my mom are like, TP, TP, baby. <laughs> I mean, it's like a celebration <laughs> on this couch because we're making money off of a dime. <laughs> like, it's just, it's been a wonderful, an absolute wonderful journey. I'm so in love with Forex. I am, I mean, like in math, if I can go back when I was in school, I hated numbers. I really did. I hated math. I hated numbers. Um, I was a, the student who would cry when they couldn't get the problems. You know, my mom would be working with me and, and, and I couldn't get it. I just couldn't see it. And I'm crying, tears coming down my face, trying to understand it. And then when I got it, I'm like, oh, I got it. And then I loved it. And then this, what I'm noticing with this experience, when I get it, I got it. And I love it. Like, I love numbers now. I, oh, oh, there's something exciting about the numbers going up. They're just, oh. So when your when your numbers go up and you make that profit, what what happens with the, the funds? How does that work? Oh, that's that's easy. That's a, no, that's an easy okay. question. So once okay. your wallet, whenever you want to take money out of your wallet or your earnings, all you do is transfer it over to your account and pull it out. You go transfer it over to your account and you go to your bank to, with your ATM card and pull your money out. It's not a hard process at all. Not a hard process. And I'm going to be honest with you, Teresa. Um, like I said, I lost my job April 1st last year, right? I got involved with this August 23rd, I believe. Um, and I have not had to go back to work wow. for anybody else. I will never, ever, 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 ever work for anybody else ever again. If I want something, I get in my phone on my MetaTrader 4 app and I trade for it. If I want a new TV, that's say $300. And this is what I do. I go and look and see what stuff costs. And then I get my phone and trade for it, take the money off and go buy what I need. So, <laughs> so wow. Wow. I have time freedom. If I don't want to get up in the morning, guess what? I don't get up in the morning. If I want to sleep into two o'clock or there's times when I get up at two o'clock in the morning and I'm actually jumping on my phone and putting in some trades, making some money and going back to sleep. So there's like, the market is open. If you're, especially if you're playing in Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, you could trade 24 hours a day and you can make money. If you don't want to trade in Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, you can trade Monday through Friday. There's a time slot, whether you have a full-time job or you, you know, you have young kids or you, you know, a part-time job, there's a time slot in which you can get in this market, make money, and go on about your life and create true financial independence and time freedom. Wow. That sounds so exciting. So you it's it's like an account, you you put your just trying to understand the concept yes. you put money into it and then you go into this app and then you just once they train you you you, you find out how to go in and um you know bid on or yes I, yes yeah. so let me break it down so what you do you can actually fund your account with as minimum as fifty dollars you can open an account with fifty dollars and start trading and we teach you that you start with a dime when you're first starting out don't try to go in and uh open up a trade with a dollar or two dollars or five dollars you don't want to do that because we don't want to set you up to fail. We want you to take baby steps. And then as your account grows and your knowledge grows and your understanding grows, then, okay, going at 20 cents, going at 30 cents, going at a dollar, you know, but you, you want to grow into that. So again, you can start with $50. And then what you do is per each per trade, right? So like, say you're going at NAS 100 or US 30 or Bitcoin, whatever it is that you go in, you go in at 10 cents. And then you, we teach you the entry price numbers, right? What to, when we want the trade to activate. And then we teach you to take profit number. And then we also teach you stop loss. So basically it's set up where your trade will activate when it hits this number, right? At 10 cents per pip. 
Then we teach you putting a stop loss. So if it goes too far down or too far up, it's going to pull you out so you don't lose a lot of money. And the next, the next, the next level is TP, the take profit. So once your trade hits this number, it's going to pull you out in profit. So we teach you all of that, how to you know read the chart so you know which numbers to enter in, um, which numbers to use as a stop loss so you don't lose a lot of money, and which numbers to take profit. And so once it hits take profit, it pulls you out the market. You go over into your history and you'll see where you have money. And honestly, like. My first day out of the gate, my first day trading, after sitting in on a Zoom, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, my Thursday's trade off of uh, 50 cents, 50 cents total, I made $49.02. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. My mother's first day out of the gate, and we still, at that point, were just learning about Forex. We didn't really have a good understanding of Forex. She made $102 and some change. First day out of the gate, off of about one dollar and forty cents. <laughs> oh my goodness! And it's just gone up from there. I mean, the, the potential to earn money in this market is so ridiculous, um, and I really feel like our community has—we're um, the last to find out about things to put us over and set us up financially. And so now this Forex market has just been like kicked open and I'm trying to pull all my peoples, you know, with me, come on y'all, let's make this money. Let's finally get our hands in something that has been hidden from us that we didn't know about and create some real financial freedom, one for yourself and to change, right? Your financial household, then also set up a legacy for your children's children's children. And then how about owning some stuff? Right, make some money in a forex market so that you can own some stuff, some stuff in your name that you can pass on to generation after generation. Cause like I, I me personally, I really want to see our community owning our community. And the truth of the matter is, the only way that we're gonna own our community is if we have money. And forex is definitely a tool that will help set you up for financial gain. Yep. Now, what kind of what kind of risks are there? Oh, there's risk, absolutely. Anytime you're talking about the market, yeah, stock right. market, forex market, there is risk. We teach you risk management. We teach you about leveraging and not over leveraging your account. So as long as you follow the tools that are out there that's set up for you to win and be a successful trader, you don't skip parts. You know the parts that aren't interesting to you. You gotta you gotta go. Step one, step two, step three, step four, you follow the process. You're going to learn all about risk management. There are risks. I mean, there are days. And, and if I told you that I won every single time I got into the market, that would be a lie. Any trader, whether it's the Forex market or the stock market, if they tell you they've never lost, they're lying. Do not buy into their program. I promise you guys, you will have loss. I've had loss. Absolutely. I've, lo I've lost. <laughs> However, my wins have been much bigger than my losses. And I'm going to talk about my losses if you don't mind. Oh, um, so my first loss was $60 on one trade. I was like, I about lost my mind. I was like, oh my God, I done lost $60. I was like, oh, I'm not doing this Forex stuff no more because I don't like to lose a dollar. I'm going to be honest with you. I, I, do, I don't like losing money money I oh mm -mm. like I've never really been a big like casino person or lottery ticket person I mean I've gone and I bought lottery tickets um but like if I'm not winning <laughs> I'm not gonna keep giving you my money I'd rather eat my money than lose it on a, <laughs> than lose it on a scratch ticket right so here we go. Um, so when I lost my first sixty dollars, it had me questioning my whole forex. Am I gonna do this anymore? Like this is crazy. I'm like, ah, no. And then I said, nope, Yana, you go back, learn from your mistakes, keep studying, keep practicing, right? Because you can practice in a demo account before you go live, which I highly suggest. Play with play money and practice, practice, practice. And then once you've had a number of successful trades and you feel comfortable because it's your money, right? Once you're comfortable, then go into trading on a live account. So here we go. I lost my first $60. 
I said, okay, let me go back to my demo account. Let me practice, practice, practice some more, you know, build up my confidence and continue to study. And then I went back in and I was winning, winning, winning. I'm like, okay, I got this. I got this. I got this. Then I lost another $60 off of one trade I was like yo but this time what I will say is that I didn't lose my mind <laughs> I wasn't going ballistic I wasn't freaking out because with loss and wins it, they go they go hand in hand sometimes you're going to win sometimes you're going to lose right but you learn from your L's and you become better stronger smarter and wiser so okay I lost my first 60 I was like I don't know about this lost my second 60 I'm like okay that's all right I'm gonna go I'm, I'm gonna go get it back and I got it back then I lost 350 dollars on one trade and I'm gonna tell you why I'm gonna tell you why and I'm also gonna tell you that I didn't lose my mind when I lost it either because at this point I've been in it long enough right I understand that you're gonna have some L's with a lot of wins so when I lost the $350, this is the reason why I didn't freak out because I knew how to get my money back. One, two, um, I made a poor decision, which caused me to lose that money. Not that I don't understand the skill set, but you got to know, and we teach you that when to pull your trade. So we teach you, do not let your trade go negative, no more than negative $30. If it goes negative 30, pull it. And I got into a place where I like, oh, it'll come back. I'm going to let it ride. Oh, it's going down. It'll come back. It'll come back. So, you know, and for the most part, they did come back. So I'm like, I got this. I'll just ride this trade out. Well, this trade did not come back. Oh, no, actually it did. So it rolled to like about 180. So I'm looking at them like, I don't want to lose 180. I'm going to let it ride. It's going to come back. And it got to two something. I'm like, oh gosh, that's kind of, <laughs> oh, that's up there. This better come back. This is taking a long time to come back. So I actually let that trade ride overnight. My mom comes in um, in the evening at some point. She was like, Yana, it's down to $16. So I had got up to two something, negative, came down to negative $16. By the time she got to my room, it was back up to negative 30. So we're sitting there because we're both holding this trade. And so we're sitting there and we're like, you think it's going to go back down? So I'm looking at her. You think it's going to go back down? She's looking at me. You think it's going to go back down, right? So, <laughs> so we decided to let it ride. It comes back down. And I was like, Nene, because that's what I call my mom, guys. Nene, she's Nene to me. I said, Nene, I said, we may actually TP on this, take profit, right? So I was like, let's let it ride. So we let it ride. It got back up to negative 60. She was like, I'm pulling. She pulled out, which was a smart thing to do. I said, nope, I'm going to let it ride. That thing rolled all the way to negative 350. And I was like, you know what? I'm pulling. Uh, <laughs> I was like, I was like, oh my gosh, why are you letting go like that, Yana? So yes, again, we teach you when negative 30 to pull, but if you don't listen, it could be an expensive lesson for you. And it was an expensive lesson for me, but I got my money back that and then some. <laughs> oh my <God. laughs> so it, um, what was I going to ask? Oh, I just, it just looked my, so you have it, you, you have an account that has so much money in and when you start yeah. this trade, um, that they, when you do something that's not good and you don't pull out at a time, it's pulling that money out of that account that you have set there. Absolutely. Whatever you put in your wallet, that's what you're trading against. So if you lose, they take the money. If you win, they add to your money. And that's how the concept is. You win, you get more money. You lose, they take money away. And you pull out, you know, whenever you want money out of your account again, you just transfer it over and send it to your bank. And then you go to your bank and take your money out. It's a real easy, it's an it's a easy concept. If you follow the rules and you are disciplined, you have to be disciplined. You can't have like a gambler's mindset. Oh, I'm going to be rich tomorrow because it doesn't work like that. There are a lot of six, seven uh, figure earners in the Forex market. There are the, the person who sends out our signals. Um, he is a 31 year old man who traded in the Forex market, retired at 31 because he grew his account from $50 to $4.3 million in four to five years. So, like I said, you can make a lot of money in this wow. market. Yes, but you got to be disciplined, right? You got to follow the rules, <laughs> the rules that you set for yourself and don't deviate from it. If you follow the rules, you'll be absolutely successful in the Forex market. 
and 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 you have to spend you you um, obviously you have to spend um, a good amount of time doing this. I mean, it just can't be you know, an hour a day, or or can it be that small of a time? You you have to. Hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. It can be an hour a day or two hours a day. It's really, you, you really, we set it up so that you learn at your pace. Um, you watch the video and the videos are anywhere from say like four minutes all the way up to 30 minutes and they, they break it down, you know, by chunks, little bite-sized pieces, right? For you to understand it. They're not giving it to you all at once, which is good. So you watch it. And if you don't want to watch the whole video at one time, you don't have to, you know, if you only want to watch two minutes of a four minute video, watch the two minutes, take a break. If you want to come back tomorrow, come back tomorrow. If you want to come back a week later, it's really, it really is at your pace. However fast or however slow you want to go, it's up to you what you want to do and how you want to do it. Yeah. So I really, my, I, my learning is, it just depends on my mood. Sometimes I'm in there two hours, four hours, five hours. That's because that's what I want to put in, right? Because my goal is to be a six figure trader by this year is over. So I'm really putting in the work for this. Um, but everybody doesn't have that time to give. So if it's just an hour a day, give it an hour a day. And when you're ready, you get in that market and you start trading. But when you're ready, not, you know, at anybody else's schedule. Now, um, if someone is watching this program and they want to get a, in touch with you so that they could just talk with you again, you know, one-on-one, -on -one, will they be able to do that? Absolutely. You can find me on Facebook, y'all. Yana Yana, and that's spelled J-A-N-A, J-A-N-A. -A. Um, friend request me. I still have room for friends on my Facebook page. You can just shoot me a, a message on Facebook and I will respond to you and break down everything for you. And if you know, want to get signed up, we'll get you signed up. Um, or if you just want to ask questions and kind of get a feeler, you know, if you need me to break some more stuff down for you, I'll be happy to do that. I am so approachable guys i'm uber friendly and i'll answer all the questions that you may have so that you're comfortable and you understand exactly what you're getting into before you get into it and then if you don't if you don't have facebook because i realize some people don't have facebook you can reach me at 832-867-6155 again that's 832-867-6155 867-6155. be more than happy to take your call and talk with you about Forex and how Forex can change your life and that of your family and your generations to come. Wonderful. Um, I am, uh, I just don't know what to say. You have, do you have one final message you want to leave before I, before I sign off? Sure. What I would like to say to my community guys, I know that a lot of times when things are new, and they come to us, we are really skeptical about it. And it's a scam or it's a scheme or this is not really real. I promise you, just keep in mind, I don't like to lose a dollar. So if I was religiously losing <laughs> and not making money and had to go back to work for someone else, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. But what I wanna do is speak to the heart of my community, guys. We have been behind in every single thing forever. Can we be first at something? Can we get that mindset off of this is a scam? It's not a scam. I don't want your money. I'm, I'll never take your money. I want to help you get money so that we can truly own our neighborhood so that we can make moves so that we can be financially free and not have to worry about how we're going to pay this bill or that bill or you know robbing peter to pay paul that's just not how we're supposed to live and for a lot of us and i've been there guys for a lot of us we've done that i don't want to live like that no more i'm not going to live like that anymore even down to let me just share it like a vacation you work hard every day you make enough money to pay your bills, but then you want to go on vacation and can't really afford to go on vacation. So you spend your bill money. I've been there. Oh my gosh. To go on vacation, then come back and spend the next two, three months catching up. Don't live like that. We don't have to live like that. And Forex is changing our lives. And again, it's from everywhere from 18 all the way up to 96. So you're in there somewhere. Find your place in the Forex community. Let's make this money because it's $7.5 trillion a day. Let's make this money and let's live how we were really meant to live. So that's my spiel. 
I want my community to get on this because everybody else is in it. Why aren't you? Wow, wow, wow. And um, that's a perfect ending. Everybody else is in it. Why aren't we? Yes. I would just, I really want to thank um, Yana. I messed up the first time and said her <laughs> name wrong. And forgive me because it was such a long time ago. Okay. But um, she has the same spirit I remember when I first met her. So <laughs> I would like to thank Yana. I, the only thing I hate is like uh, back in the day, I would be able to be with my guests, um, take pictures with my guests, uh, give them a hug, hold a hand or whatever. But um, this too shall pass and we'll yes. be back, um, you know. But I, it has been a blessing to have her on the program tonight. I really appreciate her taking the time out to be with us tonight. So she gave you her information. And if you want to get in the game, do something for yourself and your children and your generation, give her a call and um, hook up with her. And you, you see how, um, um, like she says, approachable, um, lovable, the whole bit. So I'm asking you to get a hold of her. So I do thank you for watching. I thank my guests for being here tonight. So I thank you and I'll see you next time and um, have a blessed day. Thank you for having me, Teresa. It's been great. And thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.